Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Diamond Nuzlocke. Well, I know it's only been a few days since you last saw this, but it's been a little bit, um, for me, it's been a little while since I last recorded because we suffered a horrific loss at the end of our last episode and we wind up with our HM slave and our Stunky, who was the unsung hero of that fight. So, I went ahead and caught the ultimate, the, what do they call it? Not the elite Pokemon. Not the ultimate Pokemon. Uh, I actually can't remember what the term for it is. Either way, I caught Dialga. Called him Last Chance. <laughs> because that's what he is, effectively. And I went back to the PC and had a look at what was available. And the big problem that I have is that with Nuzlocke, you don't get a huge amount of balance with the guys you catch. And a lot of water types. Don't want to be carrying a lot of water types into battle, especially as I have one gym to go. And it's an electric gym. Don't want to be carrying a lot of electric uh, water types on my team. So I put together a patchwork team. Got to grinding. Here's what we have. Last chance. I didn't level last chance at all. Level 47. A hoot face, which I caught up around a, around a Qity lakefront. Um level 46. Stunky, level 46. Oh, we've got our Quagsire back, Glubby, level 44. And Rumplefart, well, some levels crept in there. I didn't specifically go out to level Rumplefart up, but might be able to rescue me in a tough spot. Still the HM slave, only Glubby's the guy who knows Surf and I. <sighs> so, yeah. And the problem is I, I've got a slot free here, and I was debating do I go for one of the Lake Guardians? Because I've... I can't catch anything in Verity Lakefront because I've already been there and caught something. I can't catch anything at Acuity Lakefront because I've already been there and caught something. But I've not even had an, an encounter at Valor Lakefront. So I can go and try and catch a Lake Guardian. But I was reading up on this and they're tough. I don't have the Master Ball anymore. I used it to catch Dialga. I, think, I hope I'm saying that name right. <laughs> Um, so I really just have to rely on the balls that I have, which, you know, not a great amount of them. I'm knowing my luck, I'd end up getting my ass kicked during it. So I'm not going to catch a lake guardian. I'm going to make my way over to Valor Lakefront now and go to the hotel on Grand Lake and route 222. This is where I need to go. So I'll quickly fly to Veilstone City and make our way down. <sighs> I mean, if I lose most of this team, I can probably make another patchwork team with a lot of grinding. But it's not going to be a very good team. And don't rate my chances. So this is the team that's got to carry me through. I've not fought with Dialga yet, so I really don't know what Dialga's moves are like. Now we'll see! Oh, it's a Graveler. Too bad I've already caught one. exerting its pressure. Metal Claw. Steel, not very good against rock. Dragon Claw. Ancient Power and War of Time. Okay. So. All offensive moves. I 
Oh yeah, while we're here, let's just have a little look at what all our guys have got. Let's bring everyone up to speed so you know. I really didn't like the idea of... I'm not a fan of psychic Pokemon. So, we got extra sensory there. That's a move I've known to be quite troublesome sometimes when it wants to be, so I've kept that in. We've got Aerial Ace, Fly, and Air Slash. So, best flying moves, in my mind. Gef Bite, Slash, Night Slash, Cut, Shadow Claw. Again, all offensive moves. Glubby, Surf, Mud Bomb, Earthquake, Rain Dance. I'll probably teach him something other than Rain Dance at some point. And Rumble Farts. Rumble Fart knows Hyper Fang, which is really nice. If he gets into a spot of trouble. And now we can go to Route 222. Now I can catch a new Pokemon here if I find one. I think what I'm... Yeah, I'm pressing the wrong button. What I'm going to do is I'm going to swap last chance out. And see if I can level Glubby up a little bit. Eh, don't get off the bike. Let's go! Let's go find ourselves a Pokemon. Uh-huh. That's a thing. A Gastrodon. Go, Glubby. Hmm. I've never heard of a Gastrodon before. I don't know what type it is. Not particularly weak, weak to surf. Quite strong, it would appear. Well. <laughs> well. Okay, bring out Dialga to absorb some hits. Dialga's definitely not a Pokemon. Catching Pokemon, he's way too strong. It's raining. Probably haven't damaged it enough to catch it. But let's give it a shot. To, it did not appear to be caught. Body slam. It's not very effective against a uh, a dragon. Try one more time. It did work. Fantastic. So, what do we call it? It's a sea slug. It's water and grind. Great. More water. I'll be particularly unimaginative with this, I guess. And I'm going to call it Sluggles. That explains why Surf wasn't doing much against it. Oh, wrong button. Do that all the time. So what does Sluggles know? Mud Bomb, Hidden Power, Rain Dance, and Body Slam. Not great. Might do in a pinch. I've obviously stuck up again on potions and whatnot. Obviously he's got a lot of water types. This guy looks like he's got psychic and dark types. Let's find out. He's quite bored. Wow, a fight should break the monotony, I guess. Oh, he's just a rich boy. Uh, 
Okay, Hootface, you want to get back? Uh huh. Last chance, you're up. Nothing seems to be very effective against last chance. Metal Claw. Steel against electric. Of course. Dragon of Hola. Hardly any experience. Yeah, the monotony was broken and you lost, and blah 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 blah. More berries and a trainer. Go on, look at me. 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 Okay, don't. The social etiquette. One has a meal and then fights. Oh. Yeah, it's actually not that cute. It's actually kind of creepy. I'm going to kill it. Dizzy punch? Okay. And away we go. Oh, come on, come on. So I have a chance. Ah! I seem to be getting stronger with every turn. Ah, it did not do much. Last chance, out you come. Things are getting pretty tough now. Oh, come on, really? It's just getting annoying now. Oh, come on. There's going to be one of these fights. Finally. How strong is this thing's defense? How weak is my attack? Come on. There we go. Yes, said I. Pretty sure Lupinese aren't supposed to be that strong. 
pretty sure there's some hacks involved here. Have I got anything that's good against water? Not particularly. There's a beach house and a policeman. Who would rather fight than do their job? Noctowl. Oh, hello, Noctowl. Meet Hootface. Hootface, take to the sky. Types, as they're not strong against their own type, which I guess is bad for me. But in terms of defense, but good for good for me in terms of offense. Hey, fighting type! I know just what to do with this guy. Air release. Attacked a random citizen. The fact that you're jumpy. There's no excuse. I'm gonna go back to the beach. Fight these guys. Magic carp. Magikarp. A hundred experience and hello Gyarados. Some freaking dragony beam attack. Really? Oh, bollocks. <laughs> uh, Hoot faces getting out of here. Last chance, you're up. Man, they're not very effective. I did a lot of damage. I guess because of rain dance.
I did. I also did not expect you to have a guy reduce. So, you know. Well done for the surprise. That's all it was, was honey. Ooh, this guy's got four Pokemans. Ah, they're all Magikarp, I bet. That'd be great. Bye, Magikarp! Ooh, Psycho Shift. one of these things. It's the Nightmare Fish. It's Return of the Nightmare Fish. Bye-bye, Nightmare Fish. <laughs> Fed up with facing Gyarados. Gyarados are meant to be relatively rare. Obviously not. Are you kidding me? A move with 5 PP and you miss. Oh my god. Try it again. There we go. You know, maybe it's because I haven't spent a lot of time with this team, but I don't really feel any bond to this team. These Pokemon just are. Yeah, screw your Gyarados. Adorable little fish. Uh. Last chance was. What? Does it mean I must recharge? I am thoroughly confused. I mean, it's a Pokemon, it's not a bloody battery. Can you stop doing that, please? That'd be great.
Legendary, that's the name of the Pokemon type. Not ultimate. Legendary. I am really confused. Oh, I'm joining a lot. Sorry. I'm really confused about what happened there today. I used another potion on Globbles. Globbles? Sluggles. Ah, right. Which one of you wanted to be the first one to bring out a bloody Gyarados? Starts out innocently with a magic card. Oh yeah, Stunky's not a skunk tank. Skunk, skunk tank. That would be a nice time to crit. Kef paint. Apparently you disagree. Finian. They like these guys. Oh, you missed. So what are the odds I might be in a Gyarados next? Oh, it's a Phoebus. That is one ugly ass fish. That is also one dead ass fish. Well, it makes a change from Gyarados. And this guy has mental problems. Oh, there's the Gyarados. Come on, Kefpine. You're an unsung hero. You're an underdog. Night Slash. Get a crit. Nice crit. Ow. Stupid Gyarados. It just does too much damage in one go. I think Dragon Claw is the most effective one. I don't think Steel Claw was overly effective. Steel Claw. This Steel Wing is the move I'm thinking of. Oh, really? So, this is what we're doing, is it? power on it. Oh, 
I wish I'd known that from the start. Remoraid. Eh, Metal Claw should do it. Or not. What the heck was that? Yeah, to be fair, when you have two Gyarados in your team, you don't expect to lose many fights. But hey, you do. And that's the sort of story that we learn here on Nuzlocke. And we will see you next time on Nuzlocke. Goodbye.